Top of the morning, my name is Edward Farrell and today we are going for the next Chimps map, we're gonna go into intermediate maps and we're gonna go into the map that thinks it's intermediate but isn't and I'm going back to Sada because Sada is the chat on this map. I'm just gonna place, it in, place her in here and she's gonna do most of the job for me. What I'm thinking is definitely I'm gonna go with Dart Monkey um, and the reason for the Dart Monkey is because when we're gonna go top path for the Dart Monkey and upgrade it Hmm, but I want... where do I want to put you? I hate this place right here because it looks like you can fit two monkey in here, but you can't. You absolutely can't. So I'm gonna go in here with my dart monkey and I'm gonna go top path in here and some camo detection. And I think it's gonna be so strong that it's gonna carry us for a long time. Then the next thing I will be doing is gonna get the glue thingy going. The deal is gonna be how are we dealing with some of the camos. What I'm thinking is with all of the overlap that is happening in here, I am seriously considering wizard monkey, get the shimmer going and it's gonna be great. And if I'm doing that, I probably shouldn't have enhanced eyesight and just go for the middle path. But I guess what's done is done. I think it's gonna be strong enough either way, but now that I thought about it, it feels kinda wrong to, to use it. Also, I'm thinking I will go top up with the glue gunner because I just feel it doesn't get enough love when, when we're doing chimps. I mean, for a good reason, because the alternative is just so much better when we're talking about dealing with the 90s. Let's get that, let's get Shimmer, and I'm gonna be very happy with that. And of course, the best hero for this map, as far as I'm concerned, is, is Sara. You just put her in here, and they overlap so much in this middle part that I cannot justify to taking any other hero, you know? I mean, there's probably some god gamer who knows how to do this better, and it's just face palming right now and it's sitting there if you put this one in here and this hero in there and use this ability then it's gonna be better but listen hear me out if you're a dummy if you don't know what you're doing you just put her in here and you're so happy you do nothing if you forget it exists and she just wins you the game all right that looks pretty good but the next thing we're gonna go is our glue monkey i'm gonna put you here because you're a small monkey and i feel like you can fit something bigger in here can you can you or can you not That's the question that is a, that is a very good question i'm gonna i'm gonna see if you can even feed super monkey in here if that's the case i've got a plan now are we going for bigger globs or we're going for sticker glue i'm thinking globs i'm thinking globs we're doing damage with that thing although if if i would have used a little bit more brain i would have used this monkey as my top damage especially when you look at how this map looks like and use all of the other monkey to support that and slow the balloons as much as i can around this middle part all right let's have a look and boom 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 okay we're good another thing that i really really dislike about this map is that i cannot place a monkey here like come on it looks like you it looks like you should but the truth is you can't moan about it cry about it i'm gonna go for necromancer i'm gonna place in here i'm gonna give more popping power with that thing and right now i feel like i'm doing all the mistakes i can think of i feel like i'm just doing clear and i don't do any more damage and with that being said i'm just gonna triple down on it you know because why not maybe how about sun avatar how about sun Saving up for Sun Avatar and then getting the Epic Range. Is that a good idea or is that a terrible idea? In my brain it makes sense, you know. I'm, I'm gonna get the Ultra Juggernaut, then I'm gonna save up for the Super Monkey. I'm gonna let this be my camo detector helper. I'm gonna let you... I'm gonna forget about you. I wanted to show you a little bit of love, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough money if I want to do all of that. Brain, what are you thinking? Are we committed to give this monkey a little bit more love? I think that's the correct thing to do. I think that's the right thing to do because I'm not gonna get the green blob anytime soon post this map probably. First thing first, I'm getting that. Yep, that's strong. Second thing, I guess we're doing the balloon solver. What do you guys think about the top path for the chimps right here? Because I love this monkey, I truly do. I like the green energy thingy, but the problem I have is that it is really good earlier on. It is a lot of investment and I'm not getting that much back from it in the 90s. Like, you know what I mean? So many runs are, are lost on the last rounds and spending 23,000 this amount of money on the monkey that will not do all that much in the 90s just feels wrong. The other part of the question is how much this monkey not doing much in the 90s is my assumption and how much it is actually the case. I mean it does some damage and we're not even tier 5 yet so 
And how is Sada doing? 14,000. I mean, Sada's 14,000, she's in the middle, and that thing is 14,000. What am I talking about? And this thing is just a little bit short of it. So maybe I am wrong all along. Let's do this, and then we're going for Super Monkey. I'm gonna hope that it, it will be enough. Fortified. We're good for Fortified. I really like this map actually. You know, it's a little bit tricky with placing the monkeys, with the amount of the monkeys that you can place. When I look at this map, just so many monkeys seems viable, because you can just put mortars, put them in the middle, and it's gonna work just fine. You're doing some, you're doing some heavy damage, man. I was wrong about you maybe, all along. Who cares about support monkeys, but that just do damage monkeys? I hope I won't live long enough to regret it. I guess we'll see. I just love this, this thing is so good when map will just cooperate with it. After all, after getting this camo detection, maybe it was even a better decision, you know? I have camo detection in this area, but whenever they're coming from this side, I'm already getting some damage done for some heavy camo rounds, so, you know, maybe I should take that into the account. I think I'm gonna go super range before getting the Sun Avatar. I can start popping balloons the moment they come. And look at that, it's even outside of range and I still can hit it. This is 50,000 damage. I'm actually very proud of you. I'm happy I didn't neglect you. I'm happy you're part of the family. How is Super Monkey? Super Monkey doing good. And now we're saving for the Sun Avatar. Sun Avatar is always a tricky one to squeeze in, just because it's so expensive and it's not only that it is expensive within itself, the Super Monkey and the upgrades that you need to get ahead of the Sun Avatar are also pretty expensive. When you look at the comparison, you have like Blue Gunner, you pay 245 for him, you pay some cheap money for the upgrades, and the Super Monkey is like 2700 to begin with, then every upgrade is like 1000 and more. Actually 1000 is like the cheap one, right? Oh yeah, 1600 is the cheapest one. What are we even talking about? The bottom path camo detection I think is 1200 or something like that, so that's pretty nice, but investing into Super Super monkey is a commitment, so you need plenty of things to fall in place in order to even stay alive to get Sun Avatar. What am I doing post that, after I update that? Am I committing to no support, or, or am I getting some support? <sighs> I guess some support that would be nice. Ice Monkey, maybe Ice Monkey right here. Anything other than Ice Monkey? Am I looking for anything other? I am debating also sub middle path. I think I'm gonna go sub middle path because Sun Avatar, let's go. Sun Avatar is online because there's gonna be so many maps in which Ice Monkey is just gonna be our go to. And I just don't feel like this is the same case with a sub monkey. Although, you know, the moment I've said that I feel a little bit stupid. Here's why. When I was just roaming YouTube, I've seen so many challenges and runs that this sub monkey was a crucial ingredient to, but I think that's for a better gamers and expert maps and stuff. Right now, I don't yet appreciate the strength of this ability, you know? And let me get the intel and I'm putting you on strong. Because it seems like you were born to attack the strong people. Or the strong balloon. Am I looking seriously for Prince of Darkness? Because it is definitely a really strong tower and it's fairly cheap. But I think its value to money falls off later into the light game and we are already into the light game. So I think I should forget about this and just focus on monkey sub. And how do you do? Almost 200,000. Wow, I wonder which monkey is MVP of the run. Even though you didn't do as much damage in comparison, I feel like uh, you're the carry. You have carried us. The moment you get this monkey on this map in a fairly good position, it's just game over for so many balloons, you know? That's why I appreciate you. Now, I feel like I'm wasting so much of potential of those monkeys if I won't put Alchemist in here somewhere, you know? So I feel like I have to put you. I'm gonna get that. I'm not even gonna go for the stronger stimulant. I'm gonna go for faster throwing and be very happy with my decision. But right now, save up for, for this beautiful gentleman right here. Okay, the first DDTs. I'm afraid of DDTs, you know? I don't like super understand their properties and I believe they are immune to some form of damage without MIT. MIT being the middle path for the village. I'm not sure if they're not immune into the explosions or something like that. I wanna emphasize, I don't know what I'm talking about as of this moment. I don't. I just have this feeling. Alright. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, I was afraid of them. They're not scary at all. Not right now, at least. Now I'm super confident that I'm good. So, what is the next danger? The next danger is... Wow! Have you seen that? What the hell? So the next danger is gonna be either Purple Friend or some overwhelming force of mobs. Alright. No need to even slow down. 
Okay, let's see. Wow, half a million. I underestimated you. How sad are you max level? No. Boom. Look at that. It is really powerful. It's not even strong. It's goddamn powerful. I'm not even sure what to invest into. Support monkeys are an option. But I'm thinking, what if I invest my monkey into... My monkey. My money into Sada levels. Let's go! I don't know how good or bad of a decision practically it is. I truly don't. But I felt like doing that, so I did. Let's start shiving away a little bit of that purple friend. Especially because I think I can get it twice, you know? Let's use an ability. And... Boom! Like that! Now, I understand why you're so strong. I am sorry I doubted you. I'm very happy with how you did. You weren't even supposed to be here. I'm, I'm very proud of you. And... You got drunk. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Bye bye.